The Indians try to complete a three-game series sweep for the Royals on Thursday. As they pursue a championship at Progressive Field in Cleveland, there was one in attendance. That's J.R. Smith of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Bottom one were scoreless. Jason Vargas faces Jason Kipnis. Kipnis uh -oh. drives one a deep right. Orlando waves goodbye. Hit home run number 23, RBI number 80. Score first once again. That's seven straight games. The Indians have scored first. The 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> it is in the center. Base hit. It'll get down. Splits the outfielders. Santana delivers with an RBI double. 2-0 Cleveland. That gives Santana 80 RBIs on the year. Alcides Escobar hitless in the series. To center field a long way. Back goes Rajay. Still going back. And it's gone. Alcides Escobar not known for his power. But he has hit a bunch of home runs here lately. And his two out two run shot. Has tied the game. Here in inning number two. Now Carlos Santana with one out. Still two men on the pitch. Swung on. Hit a ton. Deep right field. It is gone. And Carlos Santana, a one-man wrecking crew tonight. A three-run homer to right, and that's the big hit the Indians have been looking for. Five to two tribe, four RBIs for Carlos Santana. Here in the ninth, it will be Cody Allen. Out of play, or is it down the line? Chisenhall makes the catch. That'll end the game. Cody Allen nails it down, and the Indians win it 5-2, completing the three-game sweep. The Indians locked down the three-game sweep are now a half game behind Texas for the best record in the American League, which would mean home field advantage throughout the American League playoffs. With Carlos Santana's 34th home run of the season in the sixth inning, he and Mike Napoli become the first set of Indians teammates with 34 home runs apiece since 2001, when Juan Gonzalez and Jim Tomey did it.